Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to more Yakuza 4. Um, hold on. Forgot to do something. There we go. That's better. All right. Welcome back. Last time we, uh, did a few things. What did we do? We, uh, we did the rest of the training, finally. And, um, we, um, did some story stuff. And, uh, we, I'll uh, knock the Coliseum. Let's show off what I did, because I did a bunch of stuff here, just because I could. It's the exact same as Yakuza 3, so you're not missing anything. But I went ahead and just won everything three times, except this one and this one. I won this one four times, because I can't do anything with these. I have no tag team partners, so I can't do anything with those. But I just won these each three times, just for the hell of it. Because I needed to, uh... Level up, because I'm kind of a uh, little behind on getting to level 20. I have 129,000 points. I'm, like, relatively close to the dragon mail. But, uh, that's... Not gonna happen anytime soon, honestly. Um, because I, uh, probably not gonna do this for a while anymore, because I'm done with the Coliseum stuff. Um, but I did level up. I almost, I almost got two level ups. But, uh, yeah, I got a level up here. Um, which, uh, almost got everything here. We only have like these four, I believe. I only have this one. No, I don't need that. Uh, okay, so Essence of Might. This one is Essence of Slamming. I need, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna get this. And that unlocks all of these. Essence of Head Bashing. Take two enemies. Uh, take out two enemies by smashing their heads together. Triangle and grab me an enemy when health is flashing. These heat actions when you have low health, like, I never see anyone using them. Because when you have that low health, like, you're more than likely just going to heal. Don't, I, I it, the, the risk of even getting, getting to use these is just too low. Especially with side, well, and it's even harder with Sajima due to how much HP he has. And since I'm mounting, triangle in the enemy with flashing HP. This one, this one I don't need uh, flashing HP. A brutal attack where you slam an enemy down upon a downed enemy. Triangle, uh, grab an enemy and press triangle near a downed enemy. Um, alright. So, I couldn't leave, um, Purgatory because of, uh, because, what is it? Because there's a cutscene as soon as I leave this place. So I was stuck in here, so I had to grind up by doing all of the Coliseum stuff over and over again. So, we have, I believe there's three sub-stories remaining in this chapter, and then we just have the, uh, the remainder of the story. So here's one thing that's gonna happen that's really, really stupid. Gotta say, the cops, uh, the cops' sights still, uh, gotta stay out of the cops' sight till I make it to the hideout. Hey, wait, Saitama-san! I just watched you f your fight. It was impressive for how you withstood all that pain. I was moved. Who the hell are you? Oh, sorry. The name is Sodachi. I want a dojo in the neighborhood. Well, what do you want with me? To tell you the truth, I was hoping you could help me with something. Help you? Yes, but let's take a let's talk at my dojo. That way you can see if see it for yourself. It's really close by. Do you wanna? Do you have a little time to spare? Fine, but make it quick. This is the most inappropriate time to introduce this. Great! Oh, just follow me! And we'll be there in a jiffy! Heh, 
This place ain't bad. I knew you'd think so. I put all my hard-earned sa savings into making it this way. It's always been my dream to run my, do my own dojo. Impressive. But there ain't no one here. That's the problem. The truth is, I only have one apprentice at the moment. One? Then ain't enough to wash the floor. Exactly. It's a good location, though. And there were a good number of apprentices at first, but everybody quit within days. It's probably my fault because I'm no good. No good? Yeah. The truth is, I'm a terrible fighter. I never even won a single fight. Not even once. Huh? So how the hell do you train... Uh, do you train your apprentices? With my theory on fighting. Theory on fighting? That's right. For years, I've been conducting thorough research on how to become a stronger fighter and defeat my opponents. Nobody can beat me when it comes to my theory. I've come this far just by believing in my theory. As long as I follow it, I know I can train a great apprentice, even if I myself am weak. But it turns out no apprentice will trust a weak teacher. It's just a matter of time before the dojo was forced to close the stores for good. I've done my best to follow my dream of training a champion, but to no avail. I see. I bet it's hard to have any dreams crushed after building such a fine dojo. Yeah, and that's why I asked you here today, Sergeant Masan. Would you work with me to help train my apprentices? Me? Yes, after watching you fight at the Underground Coliseum, I knew you were the one I've been looking for. You're not only a great fighter, but you also show comp compassion, even to your opponents. I'm sure, appren I'm sure apprentices will, will look up to you. Of course, I'll support you the best I can. Please, please, Sergeant Masan. I can't give up now. Fine. I ain't making no promises, but I'll see what I can do. Thank you. You won't get it. Now, Sergeant Masan, I formally welcome you to Sodachi Dojo. Hey, Sensei. Oh, Hinei-chan. Perfect timing. Please, let me introduce you to Hideo Sugiyama-kun. Hidechan is... Uh, Hidechan chan is my dojo's one and only apprentice. Hidechan, this is Saitama son. He'll be teaching here for a while. He's an amazing fighter. And when I say amazing, I mean... I mean... Uh, I mean out of this world amazing. Oh, that's great. Nice to meet you. I'm Hideo Sugiyama. But you call me Hideo. I look forward to being your student. Nice to meet you. Now, how about we get training right away? Her goal is to make Hirei-chan the champion of the Wookiee Tournament. The Wookiee Tournament? The hell's that? Oh, sorry. I didn't explain that yet, did I? The Coliseum holds regular tournaments that are only open to Wookiee fighters. And the purpose of finding the next star fighter... Winning the tournament will earn you recognition as a full-fledged fighter and the opportunity to enter other tournaments in the Coliseum. Underground Coliseum fighters are the true cream of the crop. Since the Wookiee tournament is full of Wookiees who hope to become underground Coliseum fighters someday, the, fight, the fights are always fierce. Huh. They didn't have that when, when I fought. I heard you were special nominated. I heard you were specially nominated. People... With astounding strength and good record, are nominated to gain immediate entry. By the way, if you win a Wookiee tournament, both the fighter and the dojo will receive prize money. If I had that money, I'm sure I'd be able to renovate this dojo up quite nicely. I get it. Like killing two birds with one stone, right? Exactly! Well, that's enough explaining. Let's get to work. I'm looking forward to training with you, Sajima Sensei. You'll be in charge of, range of arranging the training menu. The menu has four regular slots and one special slot. These five slots equal one training. Don't oh, wait, one turn, sorry. I'll choose the special slot for you. You'll be in charge of selecting four regular slots. After you're done, press begin to begin training. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll get the hang of it once you're started. Okay, let's do it. Train your apprentices and have them win the tournament within 50 turns. The sooner they win, the better the prize money and the evaluation. You could earn the prize money. You could earn the prize money by having your apprentice win within 15 turns. After that, the amount will start to decrease every five turns. Train your apprentice effi efficiently, so they are able to win as few turns as possible. Fighter maker. 
Good lord. You cannot return until you start training. So, like Akiyama, where you have Hostess Maker, Sajima has Fighter Maker, which is by far much more entertaining. But the fact that they introduced this literally five minutes at, before the end of Sajima's uh, story is so stupid. Like, I don't know why they would introduce this now. So, wait, so don't, so, so that's just comments. He still has no foundation. The only thing to do now is train, train, train. Students comments. I haven't mastered any of the basics yet, so I really just need to train. Skills and finishing moves. So you can equip your, your, uh, apprentice with, uh, skills here. Diehard spirit. Abilities will, will be enhanced if the opponent has more stamina than, uh, than the apprentice. Abilities will decrease if the opponent has less stamina. Put that on. Um, dojo status. Yeah. Enhanced facility. Um, you could enhance your stuff here, which... Upgrade... Uh, I can't do this until level 2. Wait, no, wait, what? Upgrade West facility to level 2. Oh, wait, I can't actually... No, because I... Okay, I don't mind. I need dojo funds, which I don't have, if I could use my own money. So here's how this goes. Training menu, you select four of your stuff you want to do here. Say so punch training, kick training, ground training. Um, training, so punch training. Training to acquire faster and stronger punches. Well-balanced training focuses on power. You can see your stats in the middle there. Power, speed, and technique. Speed, technique. Focus on power alone, so other abilities may de decline. Max stamina. Speed. Other abilities may decline. Technique. Other abilities will decline. Tune your mood. Also will store some stamina. Greatly will store stamina. <clears throat> so, if you don't know what you're doing... This is rather... Hold on. If you don't know what you're doing, <clears throat> this is rather... This can be rather frustrating and confusing. Um, so, let's, hold on. This could be rather frustrating and confusing, so I'd recommend using a guide for this. Um, they were, th this isn't the only, um, fighter either. There is a total of, let me see, one, two, three, four, five. There's five total fighters to, to train. Um, and this could, this could be really time consuming. So I'm I'm not gonna show all of this. I'm probably not gonna I'm not gonna do any of this. I'm not gonna complete any of them either. It's just a big waste of time. I may do um, I may do some bonus streams once I'm done the done with the game to do all these side activities. But uh, for the for my initial playthroughs, I'm not gonna do them. But for the recommended one for the first uh, first thing for Hideo, Hideo Sugiyama, you want to do punch, kick, ground, and punch. This will be the most effective training to do. Um, yeah. And stats are increasing. According to Zodachi's plan, oh, according to Zodachi's plan, it's time for a meeting with you. But I ain't, but I ain't the meeting type. How about we do this over drinks? Okay, I'd love to. Oh wait, okay, I'd love to. Sounds great. You can talk over drinks to develop a relationship of trust. This is the fundamental principle of my theory of fighting. Right, let's go, H uh, Hideo. Of course. Huh? Uh, what about me? Huh? What do you want? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about me. Have a good time. Okay. Um. Ah, a nice cold beer is the best. Especially after a hard day of training. Got that right. So tell me, why did you decide to start fighting? The reason I started? Well, that's not very noble reason, but... Just tell me already. 
I didn't get the girl that I like to notice me. What are you talking about? This is a girl named Mayako-chan that I've had a crush on for a while. She's really cute and sweet. If possible, I'd like to make her my girlfriend, but I'm not very special and I lack confidence. She's sure to say no, even if I could ask her. Huh. So you want to be stronger and gain confidence in yourself. Exactly. I want to become a man that's worthy to be by your side. I started fighting to gain the confidence to ask her out. It's an impure reason, right? Um, so these are, okay. I have choices here. No, the reason you started ain't important. It's what you do afterwards that counts. Follow through on what you decide. That's what, that's what men do. If you really want the girl, give it everything you got. Give it everything you got. Show her what you can do. Sorry, I'm a son. Thank you. I'll train hard so I can be proud of who I am. Looks like he's pretty motivated now. Guess I could give some good advice sometimes. There we go. <laughs> Welcome back. Did you have a good time? It's important to develop trust. So make sure you take your apprentice out for drinks sometimes. The greater the trust, the more apprentice listens to you. Meaning more efficient training. Try building a good relationship with Hidechan. There we go. So if your training does... Uh, if your meeting does good, then your trust with... Uh, then the trust will go up. Learn the skill willpower. That's it for today. I gotta tell ya. Teaching's a lot harder than I expected. No worries. You get the hang of it in no time. Just keep doing what you're doing. Who's that sleeping over there? You know the one of your apprentices? Oh, that's Fu uh, Fukushi. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, something. He doesn't pay the monthly fee, so he isn't an apprentice. It seems he just likes it here. He comes by to take naps during the afternoon. But don't worry about him. Him, okay? He isn't a bad guy, but he's definitely not a nice guy either. Fukosio Ochai, I uh, wonder what he wants. Well, enough about that. Thank you very much for your time today. Come on and train your apprentice whenever you want, just like you did today. We're always here at the dojo, so feel free to stop by anytime, please. Also, if you have anything you didn't understand, just read the Sudachi notebook over by the bench. It'll explain, it'll explain everything. Okay, so, hello, um, oh, hello, are you starting to training today? Okay, so, let's talk to him here, um, oh, he's talking about finishing moves. Alright, um, skills and finishing moves, he doesn't have one. Uh, real power, the apprentice will get back up once, uh, will get back once more, even if his stamina reaches zero. So, we could, I think we could, uh, no, we can't. Teach your, uh, your apprentice a finishing move. So I'm going to do this one more time here just to show a little bit more. <clears throat> Road work. Max damage. That takes up two slots. Ground. Right there. And stretch. Where is that? Right here. So, uh, okay. Alright, then I'll go ahead according- then I'll go ahead and according to plan and teach you a big finishing move. Which move should I teach him? Um... This is the best one I hear. Tiger Suplex SP. Okay, let's get started. I'm sure you got it down now. Give it a try. Go easy on me, please! Ah! Good. You did just... Just right... You did, uh, you did it just right that time. Now, don't forget what you learned. That's the end of Fighting Theory Part 2. Mastering finishing moves. Yeah, yeah. You learned Tiger Suplex. SP. Alright. I'll do one more because the next one is, uh, well, you know what? I, I will get to, no, I will do two more, three more. You'll see. 
Who cares what he says? All right. Um. Move quickly to the wheel of the opponent to perform a suplex move. Power low. All right. <clears throat> Training. We have what is this? Okay. Um. So next up would be same thing. Yeah. No, load, stretch, stretch, and stretch. Okay. At the bottom. There we go. Time for sparring. I'm. Time for sparring. I'm grateful that you're willing to work directly with the apprentices. Don't mention it. There ain't no point in doing this unless I go all out. Same goes for you, Helio. You got that? All right. I'll give it everything I've got. Oh boy. Spelling match. Here we go. I wanna do something here. Get up, buddy. Oh! <laughs> yeah! That was a great fight! How was spying? How was the spying with your apprentice? Any tongue got beat, not pretty bad, but it seems like it was real learning experience for him. I couldn't ask for anything more. This is how the teacher apprentice relationship will go deeper, so make sure you keep spying. It's a great way to learn, and I can't. and I can't. Uh, and I can just watch! <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Two more, because. <laughs> that was some hardcore training, yeah, really. Alright. So, this one will be... Put the bone, boom, stretch. Make sure I'm looking at the right one. Stretch, punch, kick, ground, and then rest. Later, you can, you can adjust what the final thing is here. <clears throat> Alright, how about we listen to Sadachi and take a, take a rest this time? That's a great idea! Let's rest! Because I'm worried about Hidechan's condition! Haha, <laughs> that's why! <laughs> okay. <clears throat> that was a great nap! How was it? Did you learn the importance of rest? Restful, resting is vital. Let's make sure to get as much rest as we can. The next training session is an exhibition match that, oh. Okay. So, eventually, you will get to these ex exhibition matches. Um. Yeah, I got it. All right. Um, he doesn't have any more skills, does he? No, okay. So, this will be punch, punch, kick, ground, rest, and then the special match. All right. And this should fill him back up. Look at that. All right, we'll be competing in a brawl fest. This is a match for hot blood. I should have saved before this because there's no guarantee that he will win this. And if he loses, he takes a big hit in his stats. Basically, we just watch. We mash the X button. We can get his finishing gauge up. Oh boy, yeah, he's gonna lose this, which is not good. He will get his. He will take a really big hit to his stats. Which is... Ah, oh boy. If you use your finishing gauge, it lowers your trust, though. It's fine. And he's gonna lose. Just keep doing this. <laughs> the trust is easy to fill up, so it doesn't matter if Willy... 
Yep, he lost. Oh well. This is what I thought. I'm a failure of a human being. Ah. All right. Yeah. See. No. Oh, well, some stats went up. His stamina went lay low. Yeah, he would have taken. It would have been so much better if he won, though. But yeah, that's the gist of it. The clue my lesson: fighting theory. Okay. So I believe now, if we talk to him, we can. Yes, we can put in the fight. The fifth thing here: sparring, solo training, master finishing moves, meeting, rest. Ball fest, sink or swim, opening fight, tournament. Uh, yeah, the tournament is the final thing. You train your, train them, and then, yeah, um, and then compete in the tournament whenever the, the they are ready. If you do everything perfect and he wins those tournaments, I mean, uh, those fights, which he just failed, you should be able to uh, win this. Within 34 turns. Um, and that's only for one of the characters. There's like there's four other there's four other ones. See? One, two, three, four, five. Um, when you do complete a uh, when you do complete one of the one of the apprentices, look where it is. Been out for a while now. Best hustle back uh, to the hideout with the, with the other couple spotting me. Look where it is. My little pocket circuit was. If you, when you do complete one of them, uh, them fully and they win the tournament, they will become a, um, a tag team partner for the Coliseum. So that's how you can do those. Alright, so we need to get to the hideout without getting spotted. And this is really freaking annoying. It looks like you could go there, but no, there's a cop there. This is a lot, this is absolutely just filler here. You need to... Make your way all the way to the frickin' Come trolleys. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh no, please! You need to go all out of your way and go so many different paths just to get to the hideout because there's cops everywhere now. Hello? Good, my beloved people. Playing dating sims in front of your wife is dangerous. Okay. Real annoying. I don't like this part. Because this goes on forever. Like, we can't just go straight there. They have to pad out this chapter. For making you do all this. Just follow over the, the uh, destination markers, though. Ba -ba -ba Let me see. <clears throat> you know what I didn't do? I never went to, um... Went to get my completion reward for doing all Sajima's training. I need to remember to do that. Sky Finance. Where was... It's... The, uh... The, the item places, or the rewards places over here, isn't it? I think, isn't on this road? It is, it's right here. A stealth section, what this is. Hello, Bob, what do you have? Wage talisman, is that the one? Where all three wage, tal wage items to... Uh, become incredibly powerful in heat mode. Sacred tree. Look, there's two of them. I need one more of those. I never got any of these. I got one of them. I get one. Stamina Royale. Torno Plus Plus. Tough to simple. Hyper Stun Gun. Gambler's Binding. Alright, thanks, buddy. <clears throat> oh, give me a minute here. I'm getting a business call. And by business call, I mean... Hold on. I mean... From my... A, a text from my mom. <laughs> about, about some food. Um, about Dino. Alright. 
as always, I'm not gonna get all, pick up any of the completion rewards yet. I'm gonna wait until we just unlock all of them, and then I could... I'm free to do whatever I want with them. Because right now, again... Once I... Finish... Besides my story, then it's gonna be completely useless. Because I'm, I can't do anything with it. The no, the freaking trumpet. Is that a trumpet? All right. Like so much just to get to the freaking underground. Not underground. Uh, well, technically, to the hideout. Is this the, that's not the way, no. Uh, okay. Went the wrong way. That's right. <clears throat> not there, okay. It's confusing. There is a point where I could freely swap in between the characters. You can probably guess when that is. And that's when I'm gonna accept. That's when I'm gonna uh, get the rewards and stuff. Alright, now listen. There's cops everywhere. Look at the map down there. Let me move this way. I think. Oh boy. Oh, there's a cop. Yeah, I see him. Gee. <clears throat> Annoying. It says we're supposed to go this way, but this also leads to the hideout, so I wonder what happens if I go this way. Oh. I thought the Millennium Tower was around here. Are we lost again? Come on, my feet are killing me. I swear, I swear, just, I swear we just had to go this way, but... God, what freaking idiots. It says we're supposed to go through the other door, but we could go through this way to get to the hideout. As well. Looks like it's locked. Well, of course. <laughs> of course. I want to make us go the long way. It's crazy to think that this place is built on top of the, uh, the empty lot from Zero. The pl a plot door. It sure is. Look at these Christmas trees that'll heal you around. It's not even winter in this game. It's like March. Alright. Here we go.
Whoa, down boy. Didn't come here looking to a fight. I just want... I, yeah, it's just when I came to say hi, Gramps and his lame-ass friends jumped me. So, uh, you know. What do you want? The boss is asking for you. The boss is asking for you. What is... You two were, were bros back in the day. Majima wants to meet. Says, says to stop by the office tomorrow night. Well, the Millennium Tower. You know, the ISO scraping the sky like it's nobody's business. Fine. Knowing the boss, he's probably got some fricked up shit waiting for you on the top floor. I'd come prepared if I, if I was you. Hey. Sup? Give a message to Majima. He best have some damn good answers ready. If not, he's getting his shit kicked in. Heh. <laughs> think, think you can go all medieval on the boss, man? No dig, but he'll straight... No dig, but he'll straight up kill ya. See ya. Best grab some shut eye before I settle the score tomorrow night. Tonight's the showdown with old Majima. Kamurots are still swarming with cops, Sajima-san. You can't risk uh, moving above ground. If you're meeting with Minami at the Millennium Tower tonight, then maybe you should rest here until nightfall. In the meantime, I'll go sco uh, scoop around the best route to get there in one piece. Much obliged. Just let me know when you want to rest up. I'll stay put until then. Guess I got some time, uh, gotta get, uh, guess I got some time to sundown. Alright. So now, it was when we could do sub-stories. I didn't think I need to go in here. No. Let me pull up the list here. <clears throat> uh, sub-stories, alright. Uh Okay. I got it. I got it. It should be yeah, I'm right there. Wait, what? Hold on. Um... I'm so confused. It's right here. Oh, there we go. Gee. Oh, just chilling out, I guess. <clears throat> Greetings, Suzuki-san. You sure make... Make, uh, you sure it's a way meeting in public? I figure you must have a shady past of your own to worry about. <laughs> I'm just trying to be considerate. I assume you'd prefer not to discuss the more dangerous jobs in front of tadashi -kun. What kind of danger are we talking about here? We'd like you to take care of a certain individual for us. No killing. Find someone else. Don't worry. We wouldn't ask you to go that far. We just want you to... Work him over so th uh, so thoroughly, he'll never show his face in this town again. Though killing him certainly isn't off the table. Your target is a man named Yoshinori uh, Moroyama. Yoshinori Moroyama? Do you know of him? I believe he was the lieutenant of a Yakuza family once upon a time. Now, however, he wanders the streets, homeless and alone. <laughs> how far how far the mighty ha the mighty could fall. Still, they say fighting is like riding a bicycle. Even now, he's far too dangerous for our own agents to handle. And I drew the short straw, huh? It's good to see you so quick on quick on the uptake. So, what so what he ever do to you? Nothing you need to know about. You need to only focus on your work for Tadashi-kun's sake. For reference, we received a tip that Moriyama is camping out near the north end of the hotel district. I look forward to to hearing some good news.
It was the Sasai family. Pardon? Sasai family. Tojo clan. That's where Motoyama's from. Is that so? Interesting that you should know that. He learns something new every day. Farewell. God damn it. I never thought I'd see Motoyama on a key again. Least of all like this. But I got I got a job to do, for Tadashi's sake. North end of hotel district, huh? I'll go poke around. Okay. <laughs> Should be here somewhere, I think. Yeah, right here. Moriyama, Moriyama Anaki ought to be around here somewhere. Hey. Sorry, Jamal? Moriyama Anaki, that you? What is this? Why are you here? Boy. And what the hell are you, what are you thinking? But you should have the Reno family. Where's the Sai son go? Calm down, Moriyama Anaki. How do you expect me to do that? I lost everything thanks to you. Her family was dissolved, the Sai son vanished, and the Shibata family got promoted. Almost like the whole thing was a setup. Who knew lit the fuse on that bomb? You, Saijima. It's your fault my life went down the shitter. Anaki, after 25 years in hell, it's time to drag you down with me. No, come Ocho Man. Calm down, dude. Calm down. Oh. Yeah, you're tanky, aren't you? There we go. You know, I lost everything 25 years ago myself. I'm not asking you to believe me, but that's why I came back. To find out the truth. So, what really happened back then? And why? Still trying to piece that together. But I can tell you this much. Yeah? So Sai son is alive. Really? After all this time? He changed a lot, and not for the better. But he's still our boss. So he's alive. Maybe that's enough. What are you gonna do next? I'm gonna leave. Somehow I feel like I could finally shut the door on the demons that have haunted me all these years. Yeah? And I'm sorry. Truth is, you were the only kid in our... You were the only... You were only a kid in way over your head, just like I was. No worry about it. Just take care of yourself, Anaki. I will. But tell me something, Sajima. Yes, sir? Kamocha's been in prison for half my life. I've been too scared to set foot outside the city. I lost my boss, my rank in the Tojo, but I didn't have the courage to skip town and live my own life. But you broke out of prison, didn't you? What did it feel like, breathing free for the first time in a quarter of a century? Frankly, I still ain't used to it. I'm like a ghost, pay, uh, a ghost paying a visit from the past. No, still, it's not all bad. No? I made some new friends. Might be on the run, but I ain't lonely. I ain't lonely no more, and that's good enough. Sajima, people are make people are what make and make people happy. You're not, you're not in this alone, Anaki. If things get rough out there, don't lose it. Just come on back to Kamurocho. Back to your family. I'll remember that. Thanks, Saijima. Yeah. Twenty-five years of hell, huh? Moriyama Anaki had it rough, too. Well, I got things to do. First, better tell Toru Karu how, how the gig went. I reckon he'll send his stooge to the hideout. When I was a, a sweet, a short and sweet one. <clears throat> Alright, gotta head back though.
Ugh, cops. <clears throat> How did it go, Suzuki-san? Why do you almost skip town? He ain't coming back. Yes, one of the agents confirmed it. I knew we could count on you. Don't forget my pay. I wouldn't dream of it. Shall I apply it to the repayment of Tadashi-kun's debts? Yep. Oh, and just out of curiosity, Suzuki-san. Did you happen to have some history with this Murayama? <laughs> oh, it looks... Oh, it looks good kill. All right, if you don't want to answer, so be it. Goodbye now. 8,000 experience. <clears throat> There's one in here. Knock, knock. Who's there? Oh. Put in the intrusion. What do you want? More work, of course. What now? Let's discuss this somewhere pri more private, shall we? Doesn't get more private than my own hideout. Hi, I'm back. Hey, Tadashi. Uh, you. Oh. Well, hello there, Tadashi-kun. You look well. I'm so glad. Are you gonna do another job, big guy? Yep, looks that way. Mind holding down the foot while I'm out? Actually, I'd like Tadashi-kun to come along this time. Best have a good reason. It would just work out well, in a number of ways. But if you'd rather not, we can always call this assignment off. What do you think, Tadashi? I don't mind. Huh, <laughs> such a good boy. So where are we headed? To Underground Coliseum of Purgatory. Are you familiar with the place, Suzuki-san? More or less. Good, then. Your next job will take place there. I'm certain you have preparations to make, so Tadashi-kun and I will head out now and meet you there. As if I'm going to leave you alone with Tadashi for a second. The kid sticks with me. Mm -hmm. Try to appreciate your position here, Suzuki-san. Regardless of the circumstances, I am your client. You work for me. I do believe it is in your best interest to do as I say. Don't worry, big guy. I'll be fine. All right. Just let me... Just let me tell you of one thing. And what might that be? If you harm so much as a little hair on this kid's head, it won't end well for you. Kyoshi kun is an esteemed customer of mine. I'll treat him with the utmost care. If that's all, then, we'll be waiting for you in purgatory. Meet us by the front desk of the arena. The underground Coliseum in Purgatory, huh? Sounds like I might have a fight. Uh, have to fight there again. I'm worried about Tadashi. How about a hustle to the arena? Alright, I wish teleported us there. It's fine, though. It's fine. Move! <clears throat> Damn, please. No, please. Are you kidding me? <sighs> I can't even get caught by the police anymore. I can't even... Well, I'm not even going to give me the uh, opportunity to run away. Or uh, I can't even sneak past them. This is annoying. Annoying. Alright. <clears throat> Go this way. Go around. He went out of the go juice to teleport. Damn, what the hell? Better lay low until I meet with Minami. No, dude. Why is it? Why? Why is the game like this? I'm gonna have to use taxis to go around them, even if the frickin' location is right next to me.
I'm on some experience. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. There's some bikes over here. Can I reach them? I can. Come on now. I'm trying to kick it. Come on. And go away. And hit you some more. There you go. Get out of here. Breaking it down to the last piece. Get out of here. Look at this. If this was Yakuza 5, you would get more experience for finishing a fight or defeating an enemy with a heat action. Which is pretty freaking cool mechanic. This is a better way to break them. Throw it against the bikes against the wall. There we go. Come here. No, oh, that didn't level me up. All right, whatever. <clears throat> Where's the stuff down here, but it's literally uh, just em completely empty. All right, where am I going? Oh yeah, walked right past it. <clears throat> Hello. Here I am. What do you want me to do? I want you to take part of a special tournament, uh, Suzuki-san. And I want you to win. Special what? Unlike regular tourneys, uh, the special match tournament allows, allows the use of weapons. However, you alone will be competing and winning. Mind you, without using any weapons whatsoever. So I'm the only guy going in with the handicap. This ain't like all the other, those other gigs, is it? Even if... Is this even a job at all? I, I have my reasons for giving you this assignment. Feel free to refuse at any time. Uh, who's refusing? And to make absolutely certain you use no weapons, Tadashi and I will be watching your every move. Why do you have to drag a kid into this? W what? Uh, what, just to watch? Kind of pointless. Huh, <laughs> not quite. Oh, yeah? Let's just say it's educational. What are you talking about? I want the boy to see his oh-so-gallant uh, benefactor uh, putting his life on the line to pay off his debts. What's you sh showing him that? Hello? I just want you to understand that this tournament is no walk in the park. It's unlikely you'll make it out unscathed. In fact, I wager you'd be lucky to only lose a limb or two. What can happen when you, when you burden a burden a trusted friend with your own financial obligations? He may be a child, but I believe Tadashi Kun here has a responsibility to see the answer to that question. That's sick. Some things a kid ain't meant to see. Consider it my own personal philosophy. Don't get me wrong; it's nothing. It's I'd like nothing better than for you to win, of course. So fight and fight well. You wouldn't want to check out right in front of the boy now, would you? Don't worry about me, big guy. So what's my payment this time around? Let's see. Complete this job and I'll consider the debts we paid. If I win this thing, you'll let Tadashi's sister go. Yes, that's right. 
Do your best out there. Big guy? Hear that, Tadashi? Once I'm done here, your sister's free. You shall be watching from the audience, then. Speak to the my underling when you're ready. Oh. Alright. Hey, ready to take part in the special match tournament, Suzuki-san? I'm good to go. Yeah, I'm I'm good to go anytime. Please proceed inside the, inside the tourney is about to begin. So, Weapon Master Grand Prix. They have weapons, I don't. Not like it's gonna matter. There we go. <clears throat> uh, the hell? Oh, you see him back there. Oh, the ah, that's the Dashi. Oh, this creepy guy. Oh. This guy just doesn't want to go down. Alright. Gun guy. Oh. Uh, no. Oh, oh. Wow. Uh. Well, oh, well, I won. Just like I said I would. Hey, where's Tadakawa? Where's Tadashi? Don't be concerned. They already departed. And completed the job. Tadashi gets to see his sister. That was the deal. So where's the boy? If you'll just... I asked where Tadashi's at. Get Tadakawa back here now. I see you won't listen to reason. ex freaking excuse me Such a pity. The boss didn't want me to hurt you, but I suppose this... Was bound to happen. Where's Tadashi? Where the frick's Tadakawa up to? You, you're much too dangerous. What are you getting at? My boss wanted a puppet, someone he could string along, but you're too wild, too powerful to be used like that. A puppet who breaks his strings can't be controlled. Excuse me. But now that you know who the puppet master is, he can't just the exit this exit stays left. It'd be much easier for him to just dispose of you. So he tried to get you killed under the pretext of doing one last job for him. What bullshit. Sounds like something something that Ashley would come up with though. No. Um, uh, let me see. You see a kid around here? Uh, it doesn't look like his father. Uh... Yeah, okay. So here's the plan. Um, if I finish this chapter relatively quickly, then I will end off end this stream and then start up another one with the. Uh, with the, the next chapter because uh, if you remember with Akiyama what happens when we finish chapter 4 I want to start off you know the next part you know you know what I mean <laughs> to the car where do you think you're going Stop. big guy damn it all that barely slowed you down hey what's the deal anyhow uh, whatever do you mean don't play dumb with me. You promised to let Tadashi's sister go free. Well, I lied. Yeah, come closer, and I'll wring this brat's neck. So, the hired killer who slaughtered 18 Yakuza in cold blood at a soft spot for a little orphan boy. You just try. You just try hurting that boy. I got room for at least. I got room on my list for. I got room on my list for 19. Stay back. Hey, I kept my end of the bargain. Time for you to keep yours. 
You don't get it, do you? I'll kill him. I mean it. Don't give me that crap. A promise is a promise. Promise, promise, promise. You sound like a broken record. Fine, I'll tell you. Little wretch's precious big sister, I pawned her off to the Yakuza for three million yen. You sold Aki- uh, you sold Akiko to the Yakuza? Hold up. Three million? But Tadashi's old man was in for five. That don't sound right for a greedy money grubber like you. The debt was paid off ages ago with the insurance money that came in when the brat's parents died. You piece of shit. Maybe I am a piece of shit, but I'm a rich piece of shit. And guess what? His father was only indebted to me in the first place because I conned him into it. When it was... Winners make money, and losers go broke. As long as I get mine, the rest of the world can burn. So cheating people out of the money makes you a winner? Do you even hear the words coming out of your mouth? Mm. Quiet. It's that imbecile's fault for letting himself get duped. And you, you were supposed to get yourself killed off, uh, killed off in that damn tournament. Now my plans are all fricked. No. You ruined my family. I hate you. Ah, you little shit. Good job, Tadas uh, Good job, Tadashi. Buddy! Damn it! You ain't going nowhere. Chase Totoko. Here we go. This guy's the biggest piece of garbage. Damn it. That's not the button. Oh shit! Like this! Hey, leveled up! I gotta level up by throwing a freaking bottle because this counts as a as a destructible weapon. <laughs> hey ya! Bam! What do you want from me anyway? Great, I know. Is it money? I'll give you as much money as you want. Just please. Totoko. You're way, way, you're way, way beyond any hope of redemption. Spare me the lecture. Why is this? Why this over a measly five million? If it's, fa it's his father's fault he got taken. If he didn't want to get cheated, he shouldn't have borrowed money. Quit trying to cover your ass. A cheater's a cheater. Doesn't take... Big words, the fancy suits. Uh, big words and fancy suits to see that. But fine. If you want to whine and cry like a spoiled brat, I'll bend you over and spank you like one. Very well. I suppose I'll simply have to kill you myself. I'll still be rich and powerful, and you'll be dead. Yeah? Alright. Good luck with that. Oh my god! Hey, Totoko, who'd you sell Tadashi's sister to? The Takatsu family! And tell me, where's this Takatsu family office? Theater Alley! Poor Akiko, I can't believe he sold her to the Yakuza! Come on, quit whimpering and man up. But she's gone! Wrong. You know exactly where your sister is. All we gotta do is go pick her up. But head on back to my hideout for now. We gotta talk about where we go from here. Okay. Yes, sir. Five thousand experience. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna get to level 20. Because I still need two levels. Um... This one, uh, doesn't matter now, uh, whatever, yeah. <clears throat> unless this last sub story gives me like 50,000 experience. Dang it. Why does it do this? It's 
the Yakuza training gear is in this game. But unlike 3, if you do everything, like all the sub-stories like I am doing, then you don't necessarily need it. Because, like, with Akiyama, I did all his sub-stories and I was level 20, and I got to level 20. For Sayujima, I did all his sub-stories and I got to level 18. So... It's not really needed, uh, worth- it's not really needed unless you're not doing all the sub-stories. Um... Okay. I wonder- there is some NPCs over here. They pop up now? Yeah, these guys. I never could imagine. Could I never could get a read on Goa Majima. One minute he's leaving the Yakuza life behind, the next he's top dog of the Tojo clan. It's all about Kamocho Hills. After an, extreme, ex after an eternity in development hell, he still managed to get uh, get that shit built. The higher ups noticed that kind of thing. Majima hit the jackpot. At jackpot all. J yeah, Majima hit the jackpot all right. Everyone had long since written the project off. They called it a pipe dream. They didn't expect him to hire West Park homeless folk and out of his own Yakuza manage the whole thing. The man's a genius. A mad genius. Uh, at this rate, Majima's gonna end up as Tojo's next chairman. Now those guys are just randomly there at this- only at this point of the game. Tadashi? I'm gonna go get my sister back. Don't underestimate the Yakuza boy. What do you think you'll accomplish on your lonesome? Rescuing my sister, sister, that's what. I know I could do it. Tadashi! Damn that boy, jumping the gun like that. He'd get his ass kicked on his own. Best go to the Takacha family office down Theater Alley and wheel the kid in. Alright. This is the last substory. Actually, this is not the last substory. There's something really odd with um, Saijima, is that substories, you see we have 13 out of 14. This is the 14th one. But you see on top there's 29 out of 30. Well, it doesn't say here. Um, Akiyama. See, there's 16 substories here. There's 14 here. Sajima has one last substory. I'm so confused. I don't know how to freaking explain this. Sajima has 15 substories. Akiyama has 16. Um, but for some strange reason, his 15th substory won't show up until the very final chapter for absolutely no reasoning whatsoever. Um, so we just can't we just can't do it until the very very end of the game. And it has nothing to do with story progression. It has nothing to do with the main story at all. So I don't know why his last sub-story is locked out until the final chapter. Which we're only like halfway through the game at this point. So I have no idea why they decided to do it that way. No, come on, dude. I'm trying to... Theater Alley. I don't even know where that is. It's over here this way. This is so inconvenient design. It sure is. There we go. Yow! I'm getting real sick of your loud mouth. Squirt. I told you, I don't know Akiko. I don't know Akiko. Now scram! I hate you! I hate all of you! Hey now, why are you picking someone your own size? I'm like you? If you got a problem, old timer, I'm all ears. Waste of breath. Some folks just can't can't see straight until you knock some sense into them. Ha ha ha! Guys laugh. Oh, the bikes! Watch what I could do. That's not what I wanted to do. God, watch this. 
Uh, he's not gonna. He's not letting me do it. Oof! That's not what I want to do. And I want to do the one hit action that I just got. We go grab an enemy and press triangle near another enemy that's on the ground. But he kept kicking me off. Who the goddamn are you anyway? Broke my friggin' nose. Sorry, big guy. Tadashi. You can't uh, take on all your problems alone. This ain't courage. That's what they call reckless. There's times when a man's gotta fight, but when he does, he better not lose. You understand me, boy? Yes, sir. In case you forgot, Tadashi, I got a sister too. I know. When I was 12 years old, my mom and pa died. Me and Yasuko wound up with some relatives. Uh-huh. I say relatives, but we're talking like eight times removed. They took us in, treated us great, not like what happened to you guys. But we both felt like we were imposing on them. Nothing either of us could do to quit feeling that way. So I left and I took Yasuko with me. Then what happened? I was just a kid, so I couldn't get an honest job. But we did whatever we had to to stay together. Uh, to stay together. Little Yasuko even cooked for us. C cooked the, cooked for the two of us. Was it hard? Not so long as I had my sister smiling beside me. One time Yasuko got real sick. No, no. Runaways don't get health insurance. Would have cost an arm and a leg for surgery in a hospital room. But uh, we were barely surviving. Couldn't get alone. I couldn't get alone. I got desperate. I started walking the streets, picking fights with anyone, uh, anyone over nothing. Being in the street fight was the only thing, only time I felt like I could just forget about everything else. Till one day, I picked a fight with the wrong guy. This man, this man who's old enough to be my dad just up and beat the crap out of me. I started crying, thinking how pathetic, how miserable I was. Was that the man that helped you? You guessed it. That was the Sai son, the man I owe my life to. He saw me crying and he said, Why are you so sad? Me, the kid who tried to kick his ass. I wound up smelling my guts about me and Yasko, blubbering about her illness. And what did he do? He said to me, You've come long way, boy. Fought hard on your own. And then he took care of everything, getting Yasko into the hospital, even paying for her surgery. Well, all that happened to you? When I first met you, you reminded of you reminded me of me. And that's why that's why you helped me? Yep. It was my turn to pay that kindness forward. Do you want to help your sister Tadashi? Whatever it takes. Uh-huh. Whatever it takes. I'm scared, but nobody's gonna stop me. Not even you. Then stay out of trouble, alright? From here on, I got your back. I'm gonna see you reunited with your sister. No one stopped. No one stopped me yet. Not loan sharks. Not the yakuza. Not the cops. So breathe easy. Okay. Thank you, Uncle Suzuki. It's Saijima. My real name. It's Tiger Saijima. Oh, thank you, Uncle Tiger. And uh, I'm sorry I went off like that. It was stupid. No sweat. Just goes to show how much you miss your sister. Come on, buddy. Let's get a move on. We're gonna save your sister. Yes, sir. God, that is a amazing scene with them. Who are you? It's me! I'm here to destroy this office for the 500th time. We got business with the patriarch of the Taka Takachi family. Get him out here. No boss doesn't talk to Frickwits. Least of all, dead ones. Alright, time to destroy this office for the 800th time. You know what I could do? Oh, no. Pick up the freaking couch. Well, oh, not. Oh. Give me the couch. No. Oof. Oof. Yeah, yeah take a seat. I keep trying to do the one. It's not letting me do it. Oh, oh. 
god, they almost killed me. Well, it's magically all better. The office. Oh. What's all the commotion? Did you? What business do you have with me? So yo, Takatsu, my sister. Give me back my sister. I beg your pardon. Please, sir, leave this to me. Get behind me, Tadashi. Huh? I don't know what you want, but don't think you can smash up a Yakuza office and waltz right on out again. Don't worry, I ain't waltzing nowhere. Oh boy, here we go. Final boss. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. This dude's gonna kill me, dude. No, what am I doing? Ah! Dude, stop stun locking me. Please, take this. Oof! Well, he's not coming back up from that. Okay. Damn, that hurts. Who the hell even are you? Takasu-san. This young man is Tadashi. He'd like to have a word with you. So please, give him a, sec of your a second of your time. My sister, Akiko. Uh, Akiko is here somewhere. Let her go. So you, you're Akiko's... Yeah. Stop! Akiko, don't do anything bad to Uncle Tatsuya. Akiko, Tadashi, Tadashi, is that you? Akiko. Oh. I see. It looks like we got more than a few wires crossed. So I'm coming in full tilt like that without knowing the whole story. I'm sorry too. Not at all. It's really that loan shark to the co's fault anyway. Besides, my men, especially Fuse, can stand, or Fuse, probably, I don't know, can, can stand to learn that there's always a bigger fish. <laughs> That's good of you to say. So, you're Tadashi-kun, hmm? That's me. I should have introduced myself, I should have introduced myself earlier. Oh wait, I should have introduced myself earlier. I've been taking care of your sister as her adoptive parent. Her name is uh, Tatsuya Takasu. <laughs> And I'm Akiko's little brother, Tadashi Inoue. I'm in fourth grade. Tadashi, sit down. Oh, sorry, sis. Well, Uncle Tatsuya took me in. I knew you'd be worried about me, so I wrote you a letter. But our real uncle said you ran away. I was worried sick. I looked for you everywhere. I'm sorry, but I was worried about you. I know. You went to... You went to a lot of trouble for me. It's not like I'm mad or anything. <laughs> oh yeah, the big guy here is Tiger Saizuma-san. I met him in Kamamocho, and he's been looking out for me. Thank you, Saizuma-san. I appreciate you helping my brother. Seriously, you're the only reason I got to see my sister again. Thank you for everything. Just gonna turn my back on a kid in trouble, that's all. I hardly did, no I hardly did nothing. So you could ease up on the thanks, making me embarrassing, making me embarrassed here. If you don't mind me asking, why did you wind up adopting Akiko anyhow? Oh. It pains me to say this, but my wife and I have been, uh, have not been blessed with children of our own. We tried adoption, but my business being being what, but my business being what it is, I never got off the it never got off the ground. We had to, we had just about given up on having a child. Then one day, I had to stop by the office of this stingy loan shark named Totokaro, and that's when I saw, saw Akiko-chan. When I saw saw how that fiend was treating her, my wife and I agreed we should take her and take her in and raise her as our own. Did you happy living here, little lady? When I heard he was Yakuza, I was scared at first. But Uncle and Auntie are both so kind. They really do treat me like their daughter. Akiko No Akiko, what do you say uh what do you say, Tadashi kun? Would you let me adopt you too? That way you can live with Akiko. 
John. After all, I've been thinking I'd like to have an heir. Uncle Tatsuya? Siblings shouldn't have to live apart. If it's if it's all right with you, won't you join our family here? What do you think, Tadashi? Tatsuku, uh, Takachu san's office, officers loads better than living on the street. Uh, offers loads better than living on the streets or with you, Uncle, ain't it? Tadashi? I'm sorry. Do you mind? Do you mind? Uh, do you mind if I ask why not? Takasu, Takasu san is night. Nice. Uh, Takasu san, it's so nice of you to let me live with my sister again, and I love the idea of being a family. But if I come live here with you, I, it'd be like I'm running away. I'd be letting our relatives in the country get away with what they did to us. Besides, my son Tommy, a man doesn't run away. He stands his ground and fights back. So I'm going back to the country, country house, and once I can support myself, I'll come back to Kamuocho for my sister. Tadashi. And when I go up, I'll be a police officer. Some, uh, somebody who helps people in trouble. I'll be strong, just like Saijima-san. So I, uh... No, no. That's just fine. So you want to be a police officer and help people? Well, I think you make a fine policeman, Tadashi. I understand completely. But Akiko is still your sister, so please come by to see her whenever you like. Anytime at all. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Tadashi... I'm sorry, sis. No, I'm glad. You're finally grown- You've really grown up since last time I saw you. You sure about this, Tadashi? This is your chance to live with your sister again. I'm sure. At least now I know she's happy. And besides, even if we're living miles apart, we'll always be family. And noth ain't nothing to ain't nothing to whimper about. You've been hanging around me too long, kid. Starting to sound like me. Heh, <laughs> you got a problem with that? Well, I'm going to hit the old dusty trail. Leaving already, big guy? You ought to stay here a while, Tadashi. You finally found your sister. Spend some time with her. Oh, and Takatsu-san, take care of these two. Absolutely. I'll make sure they're both happy and healthy. Hey, Uncle Taiga. This is, real this is really special to me, so I want you to have it. Thanks, kid. I'll take good care of it. And thank you, Uncle Taiga, for everything. You know what? I'm glad we, we met too. You helped me remember something real important. Alright, be seeing ya. Look after your sister now. Suppose that's the last I'll see of Tadashi. The old hideout show sure won't feel the same without him. Go up strong, kid. Man, that is a freaking amazing sub story. It is freaking that is just amazing. And a perfect ending. Um Alright, well that's all of them. Like I said, we have one more sub story for Saijima, but it's at the very Last chapter of the game for some stupid reason. That's I have no idea why. Um. All right. Well. With that, all we have is uh, to finish up sides of my story. I'm gonna go and get some healing items because I am. I don't have any. I need to put my stuff away. Hold on. We got the seal of the dragon overflows with awesome presents. All right. Um. Don't need any of this stuff, honestly. Just put that all away. Recovery. Uh. Okay.
Here we go. Me. Here we go again. For completely forgetting where the freaking drugstore is. That guy is dead on the ground over there. No, please. Let me pass by you. Don't be like, oh. Well, that guy lets me pass by him. All right. Hello. Um, yeah, whatever. Domo. <laughs> there we go. Sorry to myself, it's a little heat that I don't even need any toners. It would just be a complete waste to use some toners or staminins. It sets a little heat, and his attacks are so freaking powerful, and with the upgrades from IF-7, it, uh, really, I just get heat back really fast anyways. So, Tornos and Staminins are pretty useless for Saijima. Look at his freaking health gauge, and I'm only, I'm still two levels under the max for him. Yeah, and I can just generate heat as well. At any time. With holding out too. Alright. Um, I'm gonna save right here. And I will take a quick BLB. When we come back. We will head on to the finale for Saijima. So I will be right back.
All right, <clears throat> I am back. Put my okay. All right, um, I think that should be everything. It's a shame that I didn't get to level 20. Um, and I can't do Sergeant's final sub story. But whatever. Kiddo, you catch some Z's before it gets dark, Sergeant Masan. Here we go. Yeah. I think I kick it back a while. Oh, back, kick it back a little. Sounds good. I'll go check out the best route for you to get to the Millennium Tower in the meantime. You sure you want to go? <clears throat> you go, Sergeant Masan? Yeah. Time to settle the score for all the shit my boss and I went through. Uh, since 85. 25 years is long ass wait time, man. Oh, uh, wait, man. You're telling me, kid. Only one problem. The streets are still swarming with cops. No way you'll make it to the Millennium Tower <clears throat> above ground. Then how do I get there? Take the north side exit to go topside. Then underground from the back of the Millennium Tower exit and see to fruit parking lot. Next, head to the roof of the Pink Alley. Oh, God. Here's another more filler. Sounds pretty freaking complicated, but I think I get it. You'll be fine as long as you can avoid the cops. Sorry, man. I wish I could do more to help. Yeah, you did more than enough. <clears throat> Thanks for everything, Kido. You bet. さえじまさんは後悔してないんですか。25年ですよね。いくら親父のためとはいえ、25年もの時間たった一人無所にいて、それで後悔はないんですか。なんでそないなこと聞くんや。いや、ちょっと。どうしても聞いてみたくて。そ
Can I coppers spawn me on the way to Millennium Tower? But I say the underground and rooftops. Yeah, okay. Let me freaking go. <clears throat> we can't just, you know, go straight there. Cop on patrol. Yeah, I got it. No! Leave me alone. Like, we're literally right there, but no, we have to go all the way freaking around, and I, I don't... I don't know why they do this. Like, it's literally, literally right there. Just right there. But no, a cop! Yeah, of course. More filler. They need to fill out this chapter somehow. Where am I? Okay. More filled out than a pack of jelly donuts. You got that right. Where am I going? Not this way. What the heck? Go. <clears throat> they just want an excuse to make us come up here. <clears throat> Look at all the new stuff we added. We gotta make them come up here and, and appreciate all the hard work we did. Gross green water. Alright, this will be the last one because this is going to pop us right in front of the Lamb Tower. This is the same one we used to uh, get down here to train. I'm gonna save right here just in case. Save again. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Yeah, you actually showed up, Sergeant Masan. Damn straight. What from the boss? From the boss man is you. If you're who you say you are, we're all get getting our asses handed to us. Hmm. <laughs> this is a test, then. Yep. And I'm curious. And I'm curious what sort of man a boss boss call his hero. Hope you don't. Oh, his his hero. His bro. Hope you don't mind if I let loose. Fine by me. Gives me a chance to see what kind of family old Marzma scraped together. Take your best shot. Hey boys, this dude swung brothers with the boss, but that don't mean mean we that don't mean he gotta win. Shoot to kill. This shit's on. Majima family. All right, here we go. Yeah. 
No, please. Hiya! 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 I mean, no, no, please. I mean, I'm trying to. Come on. Hiya! Spin! Beyblade! Crowd completely missed. Get off of me. God, there's so many freaking dudes. <clears throat> An item. Please. Holy moly, dude. That thing size of mine is like a million HP. Come here. There we go. This is what it, this is the that's the heat action. Hey! Nice health increased. Uh, where is it? There we go. We just have one more. It's this one. Ah, oh, mud goons. Don't do I take you guys down too. I take it all of you out. You see all the guys knocked down at the back there. Hey. I imagine if you didn't, if you weren't high level, this could be a real pain. Because I have <clears throat> so much HP. And I'm at how I'm I've just under half at this point. Please. What's the other item? Ooh. <clears throat> My lord! I think I can do this. Yeah! Come here! Not done yet. God, look at these guys' health bow. They have three health bows each. Or two health bows each. Yeah. No.
Come here. And. And. You're done. Dude, come on. Ugh. Yeah, big boy himself. Alright, there you go. If Akiyama beat you and he's way weaker, then this is no problem for Saijima. No. Oh god. And boom! God, that was so much damage. Oh! Who's going in with a drunken style? He has a lighter now. Yo! Hey. He learned some moves from Majima doing his flips and spins and. Oh! The dodges! That did a lot of damage. Hey! I got to level 20. Right before the end. So <laughs> ブカに影響行く人みたいやな。まだ終わってへんで。お、おやじ。これなら警察も近寄れんやろ。さあ、行こうか。どこに行く気ない？ 
行くで俺らの思い出の場所にな久しぶりに歌えんか真島あお前。俺がなんでこの町に戻ってきたんかは分かっとんのやろな些細のおじきに会うためそれに俺への復讐ってとこやろそれが分かっとんのやったらなんでこんなことしてんねん俺は25年前の裏が知りたいんじゃなんでお前があの日来えんかったんかを知りたいんじゃしてんねや。はよこっち来いや。忘れたんか。俺らの約束。一度この世界に足を踏み入れた以上。義理は貫き通す。絶対に口合わらぬ。それをもし裏切ることがあったら。その時はたとえ兄弟であっても。殺す。俺らが兄弟の杯を交わした時の。約束や忘れるわけあらへん今でも一言一句覚えとるどんな理由があろうと俺はお前を裏切った些細の親父を助け出せんかったマジマ脱げや兄弟昔みたいに殴り合うて決着つけて俺に言い訳させてくれやお前が俺に勝てたらの話やけどな。なめられたもんやな。ふ<笑>安心したわ。まだ体はダブついてないよや。25年間無所で毎日鍛えられとったわ。のうのうと暮らしとったお前とはちゃう。それじゃこっちも手加減なしで行かせてもらうで望むところへ行くでーじゃあなーおーシェリミゴーマジマーうぅ、OK I'm sorry about this マジマーおぅ、OK おぅ Wow, I don't know how I hit him there, but I did. Come here. Yo! Come down. Come down. Slow down. No. Holy crap, man. He's gonna do something soon, and I'm terrified of it. Oh. Oh, my head. Oh, shh. No, I'm good. Oh. He just punched me right in the freaking nose. Oh. 
You may notice that crazy Majima is just like almost non-existent anymore. He's kind of crazy now that he's fighting, but everything beforehand, we just have not seen him go mad dog at all. He's just so like calm now. Ooh. Oh yeah, forgot about this. There you go. Now I'm maxed out. Give me a Majima. I don't know what I'm grabbing. Give me a... ギラギラしてた。いつの間にか。俺もお前も。え、親父になってしもた。お前の関西弁も板についとるやないか。あ。なんや。馬鹿にしとんのか。昔のお前は俺にとってもっともっと強かったような気がするんや。だいたいその眼帯はないんや。そんなもんしとるから。これは関係ないわ。もうこの目とも25年の付き合いやからな。25年せや。俺や支えのおじきがお前を失ったあの日俺はこの左目も失ったなんやとおまあこんなわけやまあ両目があった頃よりも実際弱くなってしもたのかもしれへんけどなまあ元が強かったからちょうだええわ兄弟あその左目あの事件に関係しとるんかお前があの日こんかったんはその目に関係してんのか
の上の清和会の襲撃計画あれは多分仕組まれたことやってんや多分せやせやけど確かめようにも確かめられへんねんなんでや俺らをはめたかもしれんやつはついさっき殺されたらしい誰なんやそいつは柴田や柴田和夫おそらくやつが些細のおじきやお前それに俺をはめた張本人やそそう、hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed all of Saijima's stuff. And、uh, hope to see you here next time when we start part three. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. See ya! Bye bye.